Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars and finally getting some inventory back in with this uh, COVID-19 situation. We have not been able to keep inventory in stock because as soon as we put stuff up for sale, it's uh, just selling so fast. So anyways, um, we've had, we got about eight vehicles in the garage trying to get stuff up. This is a 1965 Ford F100. It's a beautiful driver. It drives great. It's an automatic. Uh, V8, 352 V8 automatic, runs great, drives great, super fun to drive. Um, I really love basically that the interior is all original, um, except that somebody put bucket seats in it, but they did it tastefully and they don't get hot in the sun and they're very comfortable. Um, I'll show you those in a second. It's actually got a center console. So it's it, it this is one of the very few times where I said, I'm gonna leave the bucket seats in. I felt like it was done so tastefully, I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, because I usually rip bucket seats out and put original bench seats back in when I can. So let's take her for a drive. Tap. She's still a little on the cold side. Didn't completely warm up. Fuel gauge does work. Not sure if you can see that needle go up. And it goes right into drive. I'm just taking my time because this guy just pulled out in front of me and I like to get going. Cooler weather here in Georgia. It's been in the 90s and very humid. I want you to be able to see the top of that steering wheel while I'm driving. Or usually I'll put my hand up here and show. Really straight speedometer. It looks like it's working fine. I believe that's about how fast we're going. It feels like about 45. Stepping on the brakes, feel like they're maybe pulling just a hair to the right. And it's not unusual for them to not be a 100% perfectly adjusted, but I like to try to get them that way when I can. So I would encourage, you know, try a little harder stop here. Yeah, just a hair, just a hair to the right. Very easy to steer. Checking the horn, I can't get it to honk. For those of you who uh, have been following our videos for the past almost 12 years now, you'll recognize that I uh, park here to do my videos pretty often. I'm gonna do a little reverse. And now there's a house there, crazy. After all these years, that, I, that land actually belongs to Zach Brown, or it did. Nice sounding exhaust. What I love about it, it is not super loud. It goes all the way out the back, but very, what I would call like a classic, tasteful sounding exhaust goes out the sides. This is a pretty truck, it's black. And you know, black can show all the imperfections and if you get right up on it, there's a couple of things, but the cool thing is, it is really shiny and really straight. It's got a straight body. See the value in this truck is it's, it's really ready to drive like it is. I would not personally um, plan on painting it or doing anything to it. It's a clean sounding engine. Three fifty two. Inner fender wells are in great shape. There's only a couple of rust spots that I've seen on the truck. It's not one hundred percent rust free, but it is in great shape. The hood is in good shape. I'm gonna shut her off. And we'll just walk around real quick. Hood's in nice shape. Really gonna go, I'll be real picky for you while as I look down the body. I mean, it's really straight. It's got a little orange peel on the paint, but for a driver quality vehicle, it looks awesome. I think if you really wanted to, which by the way, literally I just walked there, I'm not seeing any dings or dents. That's why I hadn't said anything. Um, if you wanted to uh, wet sand and buff the truck, you could probably get it up to a whole nother level of shine. A little spot of imperfection there on the paint. <coughs> and little spots of, uh, this is actually, honestly, I've got some of this in the shop. This, uh, this little corner edge that you put on. Somebody put a little of that 
you know, it's a, it comes in a roll, it looks like chrome. And if I'd have noticed that, I might have even tossed them on there, but you can pick it up at the store for 12 bucks. Um, great wheels, uh, matching tires, they have excellent tread on them. Still not seeing, okay, here we go. There's a little paint chip down here at the bottom. And is that some, that's some little bubbles in the clear cup. So I think those could be wet sanded out. A couple of tiny little spots there. That's some bird poop, looks like. Yep, a little bird poo. Um, top is in great shape. And really the top and the, the top of the cab and the top of the hood are the more <clears throat> spots that I would say don't have quite the luster of the sides. And that's of course not uncommon with it, you know, being in the sun. But uh, bumpers look like they're in great shape. Glass is all in great shape. It's got tinted windows all the way around. Of course, that can be removed if you don't like tinted windows. It's not hard, it peels off. In fact, actually, that looks like it's getting starting to peel there, but that could also be just re-adhered. It's not a hard thing to do. Windows roll up and down. Um, doors open and close easily. Carpet appears to be newer. So I don't know how old the carpet is. I mean, I say that maybe it's five years old, but the dash is painted and the, I mean, just the dash is a nice original radio, not functioning of course. And this is what I was talking about with the, um, with the seats. I just, they look good and they're comfortable and I'm happy with that. So um, I never say that when it comes to bench seats, but I'm saying it today. It's got a headliner in it. It looks good. It's older, but it looks good. Center console brand new gas tank somebody put in at some point you can tell it's just brand new and shiny um, and then back here the bed is in great shape right now it's got a rubber mat of course you could always pull it up it's got the it's got the uh, steel bed and it's got a couple spots where it's been patched that uh, that looks like a patch to me I would say um, but overall uh, pulling the bed up and we'll go up underneath in a second it's in solid shape from what we can tell and even just like these inner fender wells, look at how they're not dented up. These are the parts of the story of the truck that I'm looking for. A truck that's been used to work out of a lot and had a lot of two by four stone in it and a lot of concrete and tools, these would be all dented up. So the fact that these are nice and smooth tells me that this truck has not, because I believe this to be the original bed, so I don't believe somebody redid the whole bed tells me that this truck has not been workhorsed uh, with a bunch of tools and stuff in the back. Comes with this uh, you know, little gun rack in there and uh, this toolbox. Of course, you don't have to keep it on if you don't want to, but it comes with it. It's got these nice little rails on it that go right up to the, right up to the toolbox. Of course, if you take the toolbox off, you probably want to take the rails off or replace them. They're not very expensive. And then these ties on the side that somebody installed looks like a long, long time ago. They did not come from the factory like that. I don't believe they look more like boat ties to me, but man, what an awesome, what an awesome uh, accessory to have on your truck to tie down, you know, boxes. If you put anything in the back, um, you know, throw a couple of uh, dirt bikes back here or a motorcycle and you've got your things for your tie down. So let's take a look up underneath the truck real quick before we run out of time in the video. <clears throat> so a few rest spots under here. There's one right here at the bottom of the um, rocker and that's you can see about the size of my two fingers um, this floor pan appears to have been patched with some fiberglass on it with some steel on top and back here as well and if it was my truck I'd probably just leave it alone I we, we call it well leave well enough alone is what we say I'm going upside down with the camera here but want to show you this cab corner was repaired Years ago, looks like a one little tiny spot of rust there. And on the back of the cab corner, it looks good. See? So, I mean, we we'll call this a very minimal rust truck. Of course, the frame rails where the cab is mounted to the, to the frame, all that looks really good. <clears throat> this transmission is nice and clean. Looks like it was pulled and rebuilt. We're all the way underneath here now. And that's just a spot of... That's not even a rut. That's surface rust there. Just a spot where the where the um, undercoating is coming off. 
bottom of the cab. These are the original floor pans underneath the gas tank now. And as I continue under, again, some spots here where, where they've been touched up. That's probably the worst of it. It looks like somebody, somebody did, had, did, did it right on one side and then gooped it on this side. So that's not my favorite. And I might would put that up and grind that down, smooth it out a little bit. Of course, you don't see that from up above, but you do see it if you get underneath. And then of course the, the bed here, I'm laying on my back now underneath the truck. So you can see those couple spots where they've been welded and patched, but actually this looks like it's in really good shape overall. A little spot of rust right there. But I mean, just this is underneath the bed now that I'm showing you. Nice and solid overall. I'm going to go to the other side and check the um, rocker real quick and then we'll be done with the video. This is the inner fender well. I mean, if you wanted to be very meticulous and have a 100% rust free truck, it would be pretty easy to do a couple of little patches on this driver's side cab corner and do a little bit of cleaning, cleaner welding of floor pan inside. But like I said, for me, for what this truck is, yeah, this rocker is in great shape. Sorry, I'm, yeah, so there's a rocker on this side, zero rust. And then there's a more close up picture of that cab corner but I mean the frame rails are super super solid it's a cab corner from the outside obviously rusted on the bottom and somebody put a little bondo on there it's not uncommon I don't see I mean just from the rest of this truck I don't see any evidence if you can look let the camera adjust here for a second I'm hoping I don't see any evidence of this having a bunch of bondo all up in it which is really good just looks like you know they found those couple of spots Hey, these tires look like they have brand new tread on them, but they do have just a touch of, you know, just being older you know, dry rot on the sides. Again, if it was my truck, I'd drive these things so they don't hold air. I think, I mean, we've been driving it and enjoying it. It drives great. I, mean, I wouldn't even think about those tires. I'd just let them go until, until it was time to put new ones on. Get these inner fender wells for you. No rust in the fender wells. Well, there you have it. Um, 1965 F100. It runs good, drives good, looks amazing. Um, very, very fun. Uh, and gosh, I'm just trying my hardest to keep these in stock. I've got, I think my brother-in-law's got another one. I don't know what it looks like compared to this. I haven't seen it yet. We'll put up next Monday, but uh, I'd hop on this. It's a beautiful truck, original V8 and uh, automatic, which is nice and ready to drive. I know the wipers work. Um, turn signals, lights, all that. We tested all those out. They all work. So give us a call.